organisms that are announced for growth, development and repair. Let's look at the two types of cell division, that is mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis. Mitosis is a type of cell division that occurs in eukaryotic cells and it is responsible for growth, development and maintenance of multicellular organisms. This presentation will be developed into the key stages and significance of mitosis. Let's look at the key stages of mitosis. We have interface. During interface, the cell prepares for cell division by replicating of its DNA and synthesizing the necessary proteins. The interface is divided into three sub subphases. We have G1, that is GAP1. S, that's the synthesis, and D2, that is GAP2. Second stage is prophase. In prophase, the, the chromatin condenses into visible chromosomes. The nuclei envelope develops. The nuclei envelope breaks down and the spindle apparatus forms. Let's look at metaphase. During the stage of metaphase, chromosomes align at the center of the cell, forming the metaphase plate. The spindle fibers attach to the central mass of each chromosome. Anaphase. During the anaphase stage, the sister chromatids separate and move to the opposite poles of the cell. The spindle fibers shorten, pulling the chromatids towards the poles. Let's look at the fifth stage, telophase. During telophase, chromosomes reach the poles and decondense into chromatin. A new nuclei envelope forms around each set of chromosomes. Cytokinesis, the cyto this, during cytokinesis, the cytoplasm divides into two daughter cells, and each daughter cell contains a complete set of chromosomes. The diagram below depicts cell division and the process of mitosis. Let's look at the significance of mitosis. Mitosis is responsible for growth and the development of multi-nuclear of multicellular organisms, allowing their cells to increase in number. Mitosis is also responsible for tissue repair and regeneration, whereby mitosis plays a crucial role in repairing of the damaged tissues and also regenerating those cells. For example, if one day you got a cut, if one day you got a cut on your body and that cut, remember, has exposed your other tissues under the skin, then as the days pass by, the cells will start multiplying by the process of mitosis then eventually the cut edges of the wound join together and the wound has healed. So it means that tissue repair has taken place by the process of mitosis. As sexual reproduction, some organisms such as bacteria, protista, they reproduce through the process called the binary fusion which is also similar to mitosis. 
Mitosis is also responsible for maintenance and the renewal and renewal of the tissues and organs that is replacing old or dying cells with the new ones. For example, if you wake up in the morning and maybe you have noticed applied vaseline on your body, if you looked at your body critically, you will see that there are whitish, whitish scales on your body. So it means that those are dead cells that are coming off from the surface of your body. So it means that the cells below the skin have automatically been replaced by the process of mitosis. Regulation of mitosis. The cell cycle, including mitosis, is tightly regulated to ensure accurate replication, replication and distribution of genetic material. Checkpoints such as GAP1 and the spindle checkpoints. This monitor the DNA integrity and ensure proper chromosome alignment before progressing to the next stage. Meiosis. Let's look at meiosis. Meiosis is a special form of cell division that occurs in sexually reproducing organisms, for example, human beings and also other animals. It produces gametes, sex gametes, with half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. This presentation will explore the key stages and significance of meiosis. Let's look at the key stages of meiosis. The first stage is known as interface. Interface is similar to mitosis, and meiosis is preceded by an interface that includes growth of the DNA, replication, and protein interface. Meiosis 1 or prophase 1. During meiosis 1, prophase 1, chromatin condenses and homologous chromosomes pair up and undergo crossing over, resulting in genetic recombination. Metaphase 1. During metaphase 1, homologous chromosomes pair, homologous chromosome pairs align at the metaphase. Plate. Anophase 1. During anophase 1, homologous chromosomes separate and move to the opposite poles of the cell. Telephase 1. During telephase 1, the chromosomes reach the poles and a nuclear envelope may reform around each set of chromosomes. Cytokinesis follows, resulting in two, two haploid cells. Let's look at meiosis 2. In meiosis 2, we have prophase 1. So in meiosis 2, we have prophase 2, where the chromosomes condense again forming a new spindle fiber, forming new spindle apparatus. Then in metaphase 2, the chromosomes align at the metaphase plate. Then anophase 2, the sister chromatids separate and move to opposite poles. 
Then other phase two, the sister chromatids separate and move to the opposite poles. Then third phase two, the chromosomes reach the poles and the nuclear envelope forms around each set. Cytokinesis follows, resulting in two, four haploid cells. The diagram below depicts the key stages of cell division by meiosis. Significance of meiosis. One of the significance of meiosis is genetic variation. Meiosis generates genetic diversity through independent assortment of chromosomes and crossing over, which occurs during process 1. The variation contributes to the adaptability and evolution of species. The second significance is sexual reproduction. Meiosis ensures the reproduction of haploid gametes, sperm and eggs, with haploid number of chromosomes as the parent cell. When fertilization occurs, the fusion of gametes restores the diploid chromosome number in the cycle. Let's look at meiosis versus mitosis. Mitosis and meiosis are two types of cell division processes. Meiosis results in the formation of haploid cells, whereas mitosis produces genetically identical diploid cells. Mitosis involves two rounds of division, that is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, while mitosis consists of one division. Meiosis is involved in sexual reproduction, while mitosis is responsible for growth, tissue repair, and asexual reproduction. Let's look at genetic disorders and meiosis. Errors can occur during meiosis, and these errors can lead to chromosomal abnormalities and genetic disorders. non disjunction or failure of the chromosomes to separate properly during meiosis 1 or meiosis 2 can result into an incorrect number of chromosomes in the gametes. Examples of genetic disorders caused by meiotic errors include the Downs syndrome, that is also known as Transome 921, and Turner syndrome, or Monosomy X. In conclusion, in conclusion, we have looked at the cell division processes by mitosis and meiosis. We also looked at the processes of we also looked at the stages of cell division by mitosis, that is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Then we also looked at the significance of mitosis. We also discussed meiosis in details, looking at the various stages, that is prophase. Metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, but in meiosis we have uh, stage 1 and stage 2. Then we've looked at the significance of, significance of meiosis and the differences between mitosis and meiosis and also the significance of meiosis. Thank you for listening and have a present.